G'day guys, it's Calvin from the Cartoon Company Down Under in New Zealand. This is the worst wiring job I've had to do for the year. However, I'm part way through. I have got a full video on the repair of this truck. But this one's to show the customer, Juno, this is for you, where I'm at and what I've done. Of course, he knows what it looked like before. And it was messy, very messy. Let's do a real quick look. Let's fire it up. Progress update. If you want to watch the full video, that's coming. But it's like an hour long, so uh, that's a bit harsh on my phone's internet uh, upload, and it's probably about three days of uploading. So let's look. The bird's nest that was there is is gone. One more wire to run up the side to the uh, wiper motor. The engine loom now looks like this. Look at that. Individual coils. This tube is no longer hard as rocks. Throttle body is fitted. Tabbit covers have been off and cleaned. Proper hoses to things, throttle body modified, back on, back together. So we have some wiring looms that run along here. They come along behind the breather for the fuel tank and into the cabin. In the cabin, I have my little bridgey thing here. So I take this wire here and I plug it into this one here, which which is quite hard with. Now this is quite quite tricky with one hand. No, no, it's it's extremely tricky with one hand. Oh, there we go. Woo! I often need a bit of guidance to get it in the hole anyway. And touch this wire on here. So next is to connect this into that, and guys, that, that's tidy from what I started with. Build a loom for that standard computer to run the transmission. Make a dash work. And put the fuse box, which is normally there, and has the loom that runs across. So rebuild the loom across the front of the vehicle and modify this fuse box and make these things work. But good progress and I'm super happy that it's up and running and looking like this.